Today, we are doing a cocoa melon custom, so let's get into it. Number one rule before starting any custom is we must remove the laces. After my shoes all prepped, then I will take some painter's tape and paint off or tape off where I want to put the fabric. Where I want, wherever I want to lay the fabric, I'm going to put the tape down. And since I'm doing a Coco Melon custom, you know I have to have the Coco Melon fabric. Um, so once you get your tape, um, you, you traced out your outlines on the toe box. That's what I'm starting with. Um, once you have that, you will then take off your tape and place it anywhere on the fabric that you want to cut and be on your toe box. Once you get your fabric right where you want it, you will then grab your scissors and cut around the line you traced. Once you have it cut out, we're then gonna glue it to the toe box. Always make sure that you're pressing firmly around the edges. And then we're going to repeat the same exact steps as we did on the toe box. I want you guys to get the fabric on the shoe. What you're going to do is remember the things that I pointed out earlier, the ones that overlay. Don't worry about that. I like to um, kind of clean that up at the end when the fabric is fully dried. Um, so we're not moving the fabric um, or picking up the glue or anything like that. So leave leave this. Um, again, that's just something that I like to do is just kind of leave that until the end. Um, after I let keep letting this dry, what I will do, um, this customer specifically wanted uh, the rope laces on here. Um, so what I do is I have um, a big thing of uh, rope laces. Um, get the other shoelaces that we did take off of the shoe earlier. I'm gonna wanna measure the same exact length. So it's from here. And I like to keep an extra space on there just in case uh, kind of when you put it on the shoe, um, you'll be cutting off any access or anything like that. Um, you'd rather have um, a lot more um, than a lot less to make a whole nother lace um so then i will get my tape i use this black tape here um i just find it it sticks onto the shoe uh the way that i like it and then all you got to do is just wrap it around once you get it wrapped around you just take your scissors and cut in the middle boom that's one lace and then you want to peep repeat the same exact step again um, i am going to actually making up custom color i custom color all of my rope laces or any laces that i color um i always custom color it you can buy online i know you can go find um the exact color that you want um but i find it a little bit um easier on my end to kind of custom color um as needed instead of waiting for it to be delivered or anything like that um so what i use is the rit dye um I have a whole bunch of colors um this specific i'm going to use the pink to try to match the pink that's inside this melon here um so let's go do that okay the first thing that you're going to need is a pot and fill it with water you don't need too much you don't need a big pot fill it up with water and start to boil it once your water starts boiling you can then pour in your dye and then i like to add dish soap in mine it just works easier and sticks to the laces a little bit better so I'll add that and then I will give it a good mix. Then you guys can just put your laces in there. Make sure they are covered. You want to stir and let them sit for a little bit. You can see that they already start changing, but you want to keep them in there until they are your desired color. Don't let them sit too long. So you want to constantly keep checking them 
um, just so they are matching the color that you're trying to get. So once you guys throw those laces in the dryer to dry, um, or you can let them air dry. I just find drying them is a little bit faster for me. Um, I'm actually gonna put the patches um, on the tongue as well so these can start drying um, before I actually start putting in the laces. Um, so I'm actually about to customize um, an overall dress to go with the Coco Melon shoes. Um, so I can't wait to show y'all that. I'm actually excited. Um, what I'm going to do on to this dress is actually I'm going to splatter paint across it um, the Coco Melon colors, like a rainbow color. Um, and then put, I got these printouts in a place on here. Um, so it's gonna be a cute little Coco Melon custom outfit with the shoes. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do. I actually have some leftover paint uh, of some custom colors that I made. I have green, yellow, pink. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually take it out. Um, I'm gonna water it down just a little bit um, and then take my paintbrush and literally just throw it at the dress um, to make, create a, a splatter paint. Um, if you guys are doing this, you wanna make sure that you're putting something down that you don't want anything to ruin. Now this is just my work table, um, so it gets dirty anyway. So I'm not really worried about that, um, but you just wanna keep that in mind when you're throwing or splattering paint that it's gonna, it's gonna go everywhere. It's intended to go everywhere. So uh, make sure nothing's surrounding you. Shoes, but you ain't gonna step this shit that you just put out, you could've kept.